Hi, my name is Pregathy Kasani Akula. My partner's name is Sachita Ghosh. We do the event Water Quality. We go, to, we go to Timberline Middle School and we're on Team Science Squad B33. Today, we will be testing our salinimeter by placing it in 0%, 5%, and 10% salt solutions. For my 0% salt solution, I used plain distilled water. For my 5% salt solution, I mixed five grams in a total of 100 milliliters of distilled water. The 100 milliliters of distilled water volume accounts for the volume of those five grams. So what I did was I had 80 milliliters of distilled water and mixed five grams and made sure they were dissolved 100%. Then I brought the final water level up to 100 milliliters total. For my 10% salt solution, I repeated the same thing, except they used 10 grams of salt in a total of 100 milliliters of distilled water. Again, these 100 milliliters account for the volume of those 10 grams. So now I'll be placing our salinimeter in these solutions. This is my 0% salt solution, and I'm going to place my salinimeter. As you can see, the water level is hitting right where the 0% marking is because this is 0% salt solution. I will now dry our salinimeter and place it in our 5% salt solution. Okay. There. You can see that it's touching right where the 5% marking is because this is 5% salt solution. I'm going to dry it off again and place it in the 10% salt solution. So you can see it's touching where the 10% marking is because this is 10% salt solution. As you can see in our diagram, our salinimeter is constructed with a, a plastic straw, a ball of non-water soluble clay, and the markings I made. We made the markings by placing our salinimeter in solutions with different salt concentrations and marking on our salinimeter where the water level came up to. We used solutions ranging from 0 to 10%. We take a look at our, my calibration curve. As salt concentration increases, the length of the salinimeter submerged underwater decreases. This is because of the principal density. But we saw earlier that in my 0% salt solution, the water came all the way up to my 0% marking. In my 10% salt solution, it only came up to here. So the length is decreasing as the, sal as the salinity increases. This is because 10% salt solution has a higher density than 0% salt solution, which causes the salinimeter to float higher. So to recap, today we, we tested my solutions by using the salinimeter I constructed out of a straw, a ball of non-water soluble clay, and my markings. I showed you my calibration curve and how the length of the salinimeter submerged under water is, is, is correlated with salinity, the salinity of a solution. I also showed you my diagram. Thank you for listening.